good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on what time zone you are in. We are back again with another stream this weekend. It has been a while because I just completed my hiatus, my March hiatus. I do that twice a year and uh, I am so excited to be back. So let's go ahead and switch screens. Hello. So good to see you. So good to be back in YouTube studio and doing some fun interactive live content with you guys. Uh, hi. <laughs> So, like I was saying a second ago, I have a scheduled break from YouTube in March each year and in September each year. So they're kind of like six months apart and I get like a break from content creation because uh, I do have a full-time day job and then I do this, you know, for fun and then I also have my art channel so I'm making art and I have my webcomics and making that and so it's a lot to have to balance um, all of these extra curriculars and I uh, sometimes just need a break and anyway that's all that I wanted to say about that it is good to be back and today we are going to push the limits in Stranded Alien Dawn in a brand new way we are going to do some mod maxing. I've heard of min maxing. I've heard of looks maxing. I don't know if mod maxing is actually a thing yet, but if it's not, we're going to make it one. I have up on screen my Steam um, workshop items. And if we scroll through here, we have quite a lot of Stranded Alien done. Uh, downloaded content and then we have like page two as well so we can grab a few extras off of page two but all of this to say these are the mods that uh, other creators have made for this game and i went ahead before the stream and downloaded and subscribed to all of these so we've got animal drinks so we've got um on the last stream we downloaded like water and hygiene for the people but then somebody also came out with a trough for drinking water from animals seems kind of relevant. Uh, so I got that. We have Alfin and Camel producing milk. We have ourselves fruit salads. Hello, Attuned Divination. Welcome to the stream. We've got ourselves some animal pregnancy quotas. I cannot tell you how excited I was when I saw this because legitimately I have been struggling with this game and the domestic animals overpopulating, like over reproducing and not being able to control that number unless I only tame animals of the same gender so that there is no multiplying. Um, so hopefully this will make that process a little bit easier to control so that I'm not having to like check and, and hunt down, um, well not hunt, but like find same gendered animals to domesticate just to avoid this problem we can now put a quota on it and i'm assuming if we reach that quota we're fixing our animals so that they don't reproduce or something to that effect uh locked doors if you've watched my desert playthroughs you'll notice that often when it gets way too hot and we have like a heat heat stroke threat or way too cold and we have like um hypothermia threats, I will put them inside the house and then I will remove the doors to prevent them from going back outside. So this seemed like super necessary. I'm glad somebody modified it so you can lock doors. That way I don't have to construct and deconstruct doors left and right. Sliding doors sounded pretty nice. We just finished our um, luxury resort playthrough uh, before my hiatus and uh, I do plan on doing a full video like a properly edited video to do a tour a hotel tour a luxury resort tour of that build um, soon I think the next video I put out is gonna be if not that I mean my plan is to put out a new seeds video next um, but since the next video is supposed to come out tomorrow or Wednesday, I might actually do the luxury tour one first just because it's going to be easier to put together, drop that, and then come back and do the seeds one next time. So we'll see. It's going to be one or the other. We're going to get those videos soon. Like, those are going to be my next two drops, so that's happening. Um, anyway, I thought sliding glass doors would be really nice for something like that. Teleportation, this is probably the coolest one on the list. I don't know if we need to go through the whole list of what we're downloading here, but I'm gonna open this one up because this seemed really freaking cool. If you look at like this GIF on screen demonstrating it, 
It's a teleportation that teleportation device. I thought that was really phenomenal. That's something you would expect with intergalactic interstellar travel that they would have some kind of capability like this. And somebody created this mod and added it to the game. So I think that's pretty outstanding. Um, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna test this out today and hopefully um, it runs smoothly. Uh, we've also got, this is uh, some basic building blocks for some other mods that we're gonna go through. Uh, improved Gujos, I'm not sure. Oh, this is for the feather, but yeah, so these animals will sometimes drop feathers except when you butcher them, which I, I agree makes no sense. So this person modified it so that when you do hunt and butcher these, you're actually getting the feather drop. Um, and then we have ourselves some eggs. We have uh, vents that allow you to put stuff up against the wall that the vent is on because that's really obnoxious when you can't. Um, some biofuel reactors is gonna allow us to uh, generate more fuel in other ways. Battle stations, you can create pre-assigned battle stations with this mod. I thought that sounded really cool. So I downloaded that as well. Spawning lakes. This will help us spawn on a lake no matter what since they're a new water based. And this is a really cool one. I haven't gotten to it yet, but there's going to be a mod for fishing. So we're going to be able to do that. Hello, Neil Fletcher. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. It's been a hot minute, but we are back. And um, we're going to try these mods out. I'm just scrolling through the list. I don't want to spend too much time reading all of them. Um, but I do recommend if you're interested in downloading any mods for this game, go into st the Steam uh, store like the shop for this game click over to the community tab and get yourself some mods we've got ourselves an immortal punching hole so you're not constantly repairing that this one this is what i was kind of excited about the aqua life forms so now we're gonna have the opportunity i don't know what these pictures are these pictures seem completely irrelevant hopefully this works the way it's meant to work um but we should have the ability now to use fishing and cooking seafood. Um, we have other uh, expeditions coming up with this mod um, enabled scuba equipment required for diving missions. Uh, and then they're planning on uh, updating this mod to add like fish tanks and aquariums and stuff, which I think would be amazing. Um, I've been saying since the beginning, and if you guys have been here for a while, you know, I love the water and I just really wanted the water to be interactive, like for there to be some kind of use for it, aside from just being aesthetically pleasing. And this gameplay, we should be able to use that. We should be able to find some interactive components to do with the water. So that'll be fun. At least I think that will be fun. All right, so I'm just gonna scroll through the rest of these here. We've got more storage, the hygiene one I'd mentioned earlier. We've added our treadmill to our gym equipment, hopefully. Uh, a leisure pack, this is gonna come with a couple more decorative items, some alternative flooring, smaller fridges so that they're not taking up quite as much square footage. Uh, a furniture collection, I'm gonna open this one up. So we can see here that we have different skins for our beds, uh, nightstand tables, uh, decorative plants, potted plants, things like that. Some other tables as well. So a lot of really fun new uh, things that we can work with and things that we And this one, less wood required for some of the fencing because somebody, I guess, was a carpenter and decided that the resources required to build these fences was just so far outside of realistic that they decided to, to mod it. Um, fortified floors. This is so that we're going to be able to put those turrets on our roofs because before I ran into the issue where I wasn't allowed to because it wasn't the floors weren't fortified um, and I didn't feel like knocking down like a four or five story building to start from scratch just so I could put turrets on the ceiling. So this should hopefully help with that. Um, and again, the bathroom stuff, the water stuff that we talked about and fixed Win fixed framed windows and lastly mech with storage uh yeah so those are our mods that we are trying today so 32 total mods and now we're gonna go back to this game so let's go to my library we're gonna launch this game let's play this and while that's loading i'm gonna get rid of this music um 
because we're probably going to have some game music. Play, yes. Yes. If you didn't, if so I, I hope that that, like, if anything proves that I have not tested this yet, we are literally going in blind and we're going to find out together how all these mods work because I, this is the first time I'm launching this after downloading those mods. Hopefully it doesn't just break my system or something crazy. Um, yeah. So here we go. I'm excited. <laughs> Uh, Neil Fletcher says, I've been playing on PS5, but I'm seriously considering moving to PC as I love this game and looking forward to seeing if these mods are cool and if they work. Yeah, I'm really hoping they do. I'm hoping we're going to start a new game because we want to try all of these. First of all, back up. I think I need to mod manager. Everything should be enabled, right? Let's disable all and then enable all. Yes, this is what we want. Okay. Now, that should turn everything on. Mods are player-created software. Play them at your own risk. Got it. Okay, we're going to turn all of that on. <laughs> and I guess it's working on that. There we go. New game. Let's do this. Um, I haven't played this on PS5. I, um, I don't even touch my PlayStation anymore. I only use my xbox to like watch tv and usually i'm just casting youtube to the tv as well i've gotten really hands off with a lot of my devices i even got like an oculus for christmas that i i've played twice i did mini golf and then i did like a vr shooting game or an ar shooting game and that was it i haven't touched it since christmas either i've just i wish i've just been playing this in palea so far <laughs> like I, I guess i've like really just been like tunneled in on what i like and what i want to play right now um do you have a powerful pc i think so i can't really speak to specs and stuff like that because um i basically just went with the i trust you approach and my husband picked out my pc so um he knows better than i do I'm trusting that it's a good, it seems to be running all of this stuff pretty well, so I think so. I couldn't tell you anything specific about it though, unfortunately. Um, let's go ahead first and foremost, I'm gonna turn this sound, I'm gonna back out one more time, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I gotta go back to our uh, options because I'm gonna fix the audio and the music. I'm just gonna bump it a little bit I couldn't hear it, so I'm hoping, and if the, if it's too loud, just let me know. I can adjust it on the stream, but I wanted it loud enough that I could hear it. Hello, Rich. The pair of legs that just walked behind me, that's my husband. <laughs> Alright, new game. We're doing this for real this time. Let's see, do we want crash landing scenario? Why not? Let's go back to basics. Let's go back to our roots. Let's do a crash landing scenario. Hello, Nick Smith. Good to see you. Welcome back. Um, so you said, hey, how's it going? Holy pants, that's a lot of subscribers. I remember the day when you had five, hello, good for you. Thank you so much, thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate it. It's all because of this game. Honestly, I think this is a quality game. This game is just so well built and it's so fun and the replay value is there. And um, I think that's what brings a lot of people to this channel because this is basically the vast majority of what I've posted to this channel. I have done a, a little dabbling with Palea, um, but it just didn't perform as well. And uh, I've started following other channels that started, like literally launched their channel on Palea the way I launched my channel here on, um, let's do Salt 2, the way I've launched my channel here on Stranded. And they've picked up a lot of um, momentum since. Uh, the last time I really checked in and so I feel like I could have I could have stayed on top of that I could have really done a balancing act with these two games um who knows maybe I'll bring it back maybe I won't we'll see Concordia what moon do we want uh I don't know let's go with Nyx <laughs> and um game difficulty we're kind of pros at this point right should we do insane? Let's do insane. 
Game rules. I do love Big Family. I do like them being able to, to hoof it a little bit faster, so I'm gonna stick with that. Do, dare we do random survivors or do we want to pick our party? Let me know in the chat what you think. Pick our party or random survivors? I'd love to, I'd love to get your input. Um, yeah, I would really love to make it to 1,000 subscribers. I feel like we're so close. We're at, I think, 922. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, just hitting that, that 1,000 benchmark would feel so good. I would be really excited for that, and I'm hoping we will reach it soon. Um, but for now, we're just going to enjoy the process. We're going to enjoy the ride. And uh, random survivors for the weapons, says Neil. I think that's a great idea. Nick says 923. So we have one extra today. Oh, that's awesome. So I woke up this morning, it was 922, and we've since gained one more. I really like that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah, random survivors, let's do it. This is this is our game. Oh, we need to pick a, a seed. Give me a seed suggestion. I'll go with the first one I see. And I'm gonna drink this with coffee. I... Game-wise, I've also been wanting to branch out into other games too. I did post initially, like one of the first times I branched out on this channel wasn't actually the paleo videos, that was the second time I tried something different. I first did like a teaser video for <laughs> um, Val Valheim and uh, it just, it was not, it was probably not my best video to be honest and it did not do well, understandably. Uh, so I went ahead and hit it and I also didn't like finish the project anyway so I figured there's no point in teasing something I didn't finish. Um, so we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna create a new seed name. Um, maybe we can just do, let's do this. Cause I, I don't know if there's, I know there's a delay on the chat and I haven't seen any uh, suggestions. I'm thinking we could do a tune, Neil, Nick. We could just do your guys' like screen names. <laughs> and then we'll just do that. Um, and that could be our seed. And we'll see what that land, where that lands us. It should be next to a body of water because that is one of the new mods that we downloaded. We really want to get into these mods. So let's do that. All right. A tune, Neil, Nick. Let's see what that lands us at. Have you guys been having a good weekend? Mine is almost over. previews the like ads show like a granny who looks like she's up to something and then like it's a 1920s aesthetic and then uh her niece or granddaughter or something shows up her manor and has to solve the mystery is that is that manor lords or am i way off the mark let me know who did we get we got edmund jack simon and xander Okay, what are their gifts? Like, what are they good at? Okay, combat, Xander, okay, okay, farming, good. Uh, intelligence for Simon, good. Oh, pop-up solved. Okay, interesting, fortified floors, brilliant, thank you. Oh no, we're gonna have to click through all these, aren't we? <laughs> oh boy, and now, okay, so these are upgrades, I think, to some of the mods. Oh gosh. Okay, so this is gonna be our research guy, Simon. Xander is gonna be our farmer. Uh, Jack is gonna do our physical stuff, so I think he can do like cutting and mining. He's also really good at combat. And so is Edmund. I feel like we got a pretty combat forward crew here. Uh, Attune Divination sounds perfect because I couldn't think of anything good enough. Aw. Well, I'm glad that we were able to find a seed name that included all of you that I've spoken so far. If there's somebody else watching and your name wasn't included, I'm sorry. I 
I have no way of knowing if you're lurking if you don't comment in the chat, so. Uh, Neil Fletcher, no, it's a medieval city builder with some battle elements, and it's called, you said, Manor Lords. I'll have to look that up. I'll check into it. Uh, I have been um, wishlisting a lot of uh, games that are currently in um, alpha that I think are going to be pretty cool. These dudes are just chilling. <laughs> they don't know what's going on. Um, let's look at our research because I'm sure that we're going to get some pretty cool new... What are they? They have no knowledge. No knowledge so far. We're going to have to start from the very basics. So let's start with Lightning Rod then. Wedding Fortification has a star next to it? Uh, I guess because the, the quantity's changed, just letting us know it's updated. We'll do uh, Lightning Rods, Basic Construction. Let's also queue up Wood Fortifications. Uh, I, I guess... We're good on weapons for a hot second because everybody's armed since we did the random survivors. What is this biofuel reactor stuff? Turning hay into fuel. I like that and then we'll give them sleep training just so we can try to maximize what they bring to the table later. So first thing we're going to need to do though before they can do any research whatsoever is build a research deck. Why is all of this sprayed out? Do I have to build campers? Has it always been like that? I feel like I'm... Man, I haven't played in a minute if that's always been the case and I just don't remember. One, two, three, and four. Let's get them... Oh, we gotta... We gotta chop some stuff, I guess. Okay. Let's go... Over here. We'll grab these four trees and that one fallen log and we'll cut those. Oops. Two fallen logs. Brilliant. Okay, cut these. Uh, sure, observe that. Cut this. Lovely. Alright, so that should get them kind of moving. Let's also manage their tab. Nick said, I play uh, Banner Lords. It's quite fun. Sorry, I'm adjusting my straps. They're slipping. Um, you have not tried Manor yet. But is it by the same developers? Is it like part of a, um, like a series? Red bushes for the sticks. Okay, brilliant. So we're gonna need that for sure, especially to build a shelter. Um, so we're definitely gonna want those. And we can probably cut some of these now. I know somebody's researching, but let's cut them. And then these mulch tubes, let's observe those. Those are handy. And these little tea ball things, we'll observe that too. So we'll queue that up. And sure, why not this? Because this palm might be our sausage palm, but it might just not be like in season or something yet. So let's, everything's kind of grayed out. It's ungraying, which is good. Leisure, woo. Whoa, that's new. That's definitely the result of mods. Look at that list of leisure items. That's a lot of new material. We've got paintings, we've got a television, uh, we have some trees and glowing beds. We have plants, clocks, statues, fountains, pools. That is so much material. We can't build any of it yet. Wait, can we? I feel like, hang on. We can though, we can build some plants. Ah. We're gonna have the bougiest little camp. We don't even have like, um, what was I gonna say? We don't even have a shelter yet, but you know what we do have? This. <laughs> we have a potted plant. Look at this, you guys. Look at these end tables, these wardrobes. We've got ourselves king size beds now. We've got some fancy new chairs and tables. Look at, okay, so look at, and we can do round tables now. Okay, okay, okay. Furniture, right. Let's look at chairs. Hang on. Where was it? Was I in the wrong place? Come back to furniture. Collections, it's in collections. Chairs. Okay, so so many more chairs now. We'll go back to collections. End tables. 
Look at the... Oh. oh man. I feel like I gotta remodel my luxury hotel now. Mmm. There's so many more options. I feel like I do. I feel like I'm gonna have to go back in there before I do my video doing the, like the tour, the reveal tour. I'm gonna have to go back in and start swapping in some of this stuff. It looks so good. Neil, swimming pool please, right? That's what I'm saying. There's a swimming pool now. I wonder if they swim. Or if it's like, you know, you gotta... That's all happening up here in the mine space. Uh, nice for a garden, yeah. Oh man, this is gonna be something. Okay, so shelter. Sure, we can purple leaf this shelter up. Let's do it. We're gonna do this, and then we're going to rotate. Do I want to do it like that though? Cause like I could do it like this. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. And then we're gonna put... Mm, I feel like we can move this. Like we'll move this here. No, I got an idea. <laughs> it is so stupid, but we're gonna do this. We're playing with what we have already that's new. We're gonna do that and then for our uh, storage, we'll stockpile it up here, here, and then we'll add another one here. Wait, I can't? I can't block it in. Oh, okay, well. It was a fun idea, we'll just, we'll do this instead. We will move that there and we'll put our stockpiles on the other side, if it will allow. It will not. You know what, it's fine. We don't gotta move it right now, it's fine. What else do we got? Let's check out our other capabilities while these guys, I'm gonna speed this up. I, know. I guess they need food. Wait, before I speed that up, cause I forgot. Once he researches this, I'll have him harvest it. I forgot that they kind of didn't really land with any food because we're playing insane mode. Um, everything is checked. What is this? Auto lock room sleeping. Okay, that's new. Are any has anything else changed in these menus? I don't think so. Okay. I'm gonna let him finish researching this and then I'm gonna have him harvest it so they, that I know they're not gonna starve while we're talking. Sausage palm was discovered, I thought so. I thought that tree was just not in harvest or not in bloom, but yeah, that was what it was, so good. These, however, we should be able to harvest, like now. No, they're not harvestable either. What about this? Did we solve what these are? No, they're still being observed, okay. But yeah, less than one day food supply. Maybe I should chill out on the fast forward first. All right, keep an eye out for antibiotics, says Neil. Always get caught out in the jungle scenarios, but want to see mods more. Yeah, I want to like keep going through the mods, but at the same time, we, we're not going to get through it if everybody dies while we're busy doing shopping, I guess, through the menus. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, oh gosh. What can we do here? We can set this to scavenge and set this to scavenge as well. Three of them are at least gonna sleep undercover. One of them is still stuck out in the rain. I think I'm gonna need to have them cut some more of this purple stuff in order for uh, them to finish building that. So we'll have them do that. I might have to give them, uh, yeah, we'll just cut that. But I might have to have them observe this because this they can eat. I don't know what he's currently observing. I'm gonna bring him out here to do this instead. And then there's like five fallen trees here, so I'm just gonna cue them for chopping. Um, yeah. Antibodies are important, especially in the jungle scenario. I don't know. And we're playing on insane mode, so I feel like we're definitely gonna get hit with it at some point if we're not careful. Um, we need a lightning rod. Oh, we don't have a research desk. We can't have a lightning rod without a research desk. Okay. Let's get back to basics. That's not a research desk. This is a research desk. Okay. We'll stick that under here. <laughs> and then we can really start uh, filling out these mods once we get some of our research queued. Um, insufficient storage space. I know, I know, I know. Um, we're gonna have to... 
Do this. Um, for now. I don't know. They can just put them out there. I don't care right now. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be fine. Um, we are going to, it's so hard not to just like pull everything out, like these cute little planted things and everything else out from, <gasps> look at this. You can see these, right? Like there's like, it's a copy wardrobe, a retro wardrobe, modern, rustic, medieval, vintage. These are so cute. Outdoors. Okay, I can't open that yet. I can't open armchair. I can't open some of these yet. Cherry wood. Round. This is gonna be so fun. <laughs> Once I unlock all of this, it's gonna be really, really fun. These tables are so nice too. I really like this. Like, we can just stick one here, right? No big deal. It's fine. It can be out in the rain. We're watering the plants. It's fine. I'm gonna, I do want to move this over just like slightly. I do like how they're letting me... It's not like it doesn't have to stay within the square. It's able to like straddle the line. It's able to go like kind of sort of... You just have a lot more ability to like sort of push it up against the wall like I just did here. It's straddling the line so that it can line up with this. It's centered, you know? Um, I do like that. Some things have to come over and move it, but <laughs> it's a start. Um, we don't really need these right away, but I kind of just wanted... And Simon's out observing stuff, I guess. Kind of what we need to do is set these up, so... Let's do our due diligence. We'll get the basics out of the way. An 8 a.m. breakfast, a 1300 lunch, and an 8 p.m. dinner. There we go. And then we can get into our management tab activities and try to give them some priorities. I want Simon researching. So let's uh, flip this over. We have discovered Heptagonia. Great. So let's, um, because they're going to starve, let's get them out here to harvest it. It's over here. Harvest. And then right back to where we were, which was the management tab activities. Mm, harvesting. Let's make that priority one for Xander. And then research needs to be priority one for, I think it was Simon we said. It needs to be his number one. Observe can be his number two. Uh, Jack was our our active guy, so we're gonna make his priority one cutting. His priority two can be. Oh gosh, what was it? Uh, mining. Edmund, what were your gifts? I say gifts. His skills. His skill set. Uh, also intellect. Okay. Management tab activities. So maybe Edmund can do observe one. And then I can kind of put Xander harvesting and then cooking can be his number two. Or well, he could also be number one, but like further down the line. And then planting is a two. Oh gosh. Ranching can be a two. Okay. Building. We need somebody to be like a number one on construction. That can be Jack then. Okay, cool. I think that's that's pretty solid for just starting out, right? And then hello from Ohio, Christopher Maki. Hello and welcome to the stream. We are just getting set up for survival. And then once they're kind of automated and surviving, uh, we're going to get into busting out these mods we want to be able to we already got a couple on the on the map we've already got ourselves some cute little furniture that we've since added um to our gameplay you know what i feel like our lightning rods are ready okay let me zoom out for a second we're just gonna drop this like right here is fine i think that's fine uh i was thinking like and then we have like water and sanitation we've got like, they're gonna be like a bathroom. Let's 
Build them a bathroom. Why not? Let's stick that right here. Insufficient materials. Well, once they scrap the metal, they can uh, do that. I gotta set somebody to scrapping metal, but... Oh gosh, observe and then he can scavenge as his number two, since he doesn't have a number two. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's so interesting, like, I feel like... I guess Ohioans are just on my reticular radar. Attuned Divination, who was in here earlier, is also from Ohio. Uh, I am a native Ohio and I was born and raised in Ohio, went into the military, and then I've been just kind of everywhere <laughs> since then. But uh, good to see another neighbor. Hello, Ohioan. Um, we've got some Ohioan here. We've got some Michigan in here. Uh, the Midwesterners are here. They're here for this game <laughs> and they're here for the stream and I appreciate that. We also do seem to get um, a fair share of people from across the pond as well. Some uh, Europeans, UK natives, um, and I think the time that I typically stream has something to do with that, um, as well as just those being a fair amount of my subscribers. Oh, you're friends with her! Okay, well that explains it then. Welcome to the stream, and welcome to the game. If you haven't seen Stranded Alien Dawn before, we are geeking out today over our mods because I downloaded a bunch of community-made mods that we barely even scratched the surface with what we're going to build out of these mods. But um, what we do know, or what uh, I would like you to know if you're new to this game, is that this is kind of like Oregon Trail on crack. This game, basically you're, you get a, a team that you can pick. We use the randomizer this time, the randomizer option, but normally you can pick your people and they each come with different skill sets and qualities and uh, personalities as well. They all kind of come with their own personality. Um, where is it? <laughs> Maybe it's here. Oh, of course, the profile view. So, and they've got like favorite foods, they like people, they don't like people, their backstories, all of that. So all of that, just kind of like Oregon Trail, plays into the gameplay and how they behave. And, um, you know, if you balance your team well, you have a better chance of survival. So that's one aspect of the game. The other aspect, the other, other aspects are survival. We haven't even begun to build our defenses, which is kind of important. We are playing on insane mode. I'm sure we're gonna get attacked. Uh, <laughs> but there's, yeah, it's a survival game. You gotta survive the mobs that come from the, the planet. There is the discovery, because you're kind of exploring a new planet. There is um, resource management. There, it's a colony sim, you build a base. It's a lot of things, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so welcome to Stranded Alien Dawn. If this is your first time seeing or playing this game, uh, and if not, I hope that wasn't too much of a ramble, just going through the basic rundown for it. Uh, we're gonna put some shelter over these. And um, I think what we need, camp-wise to really kind of complete the, we'll put it here, just the basic, like, congrats, you survived and you set up camp and you set up shelter, you know, achievement, we gotta at least do a campfire, so let's do that, let's get that taken care of, I'm seeing Sasha's palms that are in, uh, I guess bloom. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these to harvest because I want our people to have enough to eat. So we will mark all of those for harvest. And then we can start researching some other things. I wonder if we observe this twisted plant, will we be able, like unlock more creative stuff? Because um, with things like this, and also we can probably harvest a few more of these. There we go. That should do it. All right. Building blocks. Have we researched basic building blocks yet? Because if we have, we can start building our construction stuff. Construction basics. They're, they're, they're just getting started on that research. So let's allow that to do its thing then. <laughs> and let's put up a defense. Let's put up a wall while they research that so that we can kind of keep our little camp safe while we wait for... Uh, them to finish their basic education and get ourselves into building more exciting things. Um, 
Man, I think they need a, they need a, what do you call it? <laughs> they need a door, a fence door. There we go. I'll stick it over here. Well, maybe not by the latrine. Let's put it here. Maybe in this back corner and then come in by the, the stock, the stock house instead. Um, we're gonna make another one of these. Is there room to walk around it? Maybe not. Let's do it this way. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. I know, I know this looks crazy what I'm doing. It's not meant to be permanent. It's just meant to be... And that's why we built the lightning rod first. <laughs> um, this is just meant to be helpful for our storage shelves, so... I just want to get a roof over... Dang, I gotta move this. It's in the way. Put it out here. I'm gonna interrupt him for a second just to move this now. Oops. I don't know where he's coming from. It's probably good we bring him in anyway with the storm happening. I don't want people getting electrocuted. Okay, so that's that. And now I should be able to finish adding shelves. So, scrap metal shelf. Really? That's how we're gonna do this? Okay, well, you know what? We're just gonna cancel constructing that and, and reset it. We can reset it, it's fine. Oops, there we go. And that should do that. And now with that decided, we're gonna come in here and do our due diligence to make sure that construction materials is the only thing that we're storing here so that we can put all this other stuff on the smaller shelves because they will fit on the smaller shelves. And that should take care of that. Lovely. And now I will leave them to it. <laughs> the lighting storms get me. I feel like they get me kind of every time. Um, mm. It's just so, the, you know, the flashing light and then the sound of the thunder and the, the rain coming down, all of it. It's very immersive. <laughs> it's a little bit unsettling. Um, and then, of course, we're camping the screen right here on the this thing so that we will we'll see it too when it comes through. Um, so Kristoff Maki says, we've also played Overwatch together a long while ago. Oh, so I've met you before. Okay, on Overwatch. I do love Overwatch. Uh, I haven't played a first person shooter in a while, but I do genuinely enjoy them. I really like Overwatch. I like, uh, I'm gonna butcher this. Modern Warfare. I had to think about it for a second. I like that game. I'm not as into Fortnite, I don't know why, because you'd think with it having such a cartoony skin a lot like Overwatch, I'd be way more into it, but I just, I'm not. I think I like the characters better in Overwatch, uh, and I like the maps better <laughs> in uh, Modern Warfare, but for some reason, um, Fortnite just doesn't do it for me, so. But yeah, I really enjoy that. I love, like my favorite arcade games when I go to the arcade are first person shooter games. Like I just love, I don't know. It's, it's a pretty simple, straightforward thing. It's really fun. And then um, Overwatch also has the team aspect, which is really cool. I really like that too. I think that's pretty nice. Um, all right, so what we're seeing here is it's constructed. This is our bathroom. That's also a mod that I downloaded. Uh, we've got some cute little decor going on here, but we could do more. We should be doing more. Also, hold up. Let's take a look around because we are definitely supposed to have landed by water. Oh, I'm going to have them research these. That seems kind of valuable. These crystal things and this uh, cotton blossom. Okay, but I got distracted. That wasn't the point. The water is kind of far away, like it's way down here. I thought we would like have landed a lot closer. Dang, these things are like dead dead. I wonder what happened to them. It's pretty far away. Hopefully trekking down there doesn't walk us past any... It doesn't look like we're passing any nest. I hope that's true. I'm like checking just to be sure. <laughs> I don't want my uh, people going down there to do a butcher and then getting butchered themselves. That's never fun. Did we research these? We did. So we can harvest some glitter caps. Good. Uh, 
Here we go. Who was it that brought this up? Neil did. Neil, we need to observe these because these are our antibodies right here. We want to observe this and then we want to harvest it and then we want to plant it. All of that. All of those things. In fact, Edmund, my friend, let's bring you down here to observe that now just so I can prioritize it. We are seeing... Let's go back to camp. We are seeing some uh, little stars on the toolbar down here. You guys can't see it, but I can see it, so I'm going to see what it is. Air vent. It's letting us know that we have some updated air vents. Uh, I don't know why... I don't know why it did that. I guess there's just the one kind, but they are updated. You can now put stuff on the same wall or up against the same wall as an air vent. It no longer makes it um, inaccessible. Fortified floors, we have that. We now have more leisure, our shroom torches, even though I can't unlock it because I haven't um, harvested any shroom mushrooms yet. Housing, basic construction, yes! Ah, we're there. Okay, so we've got that research out of the way. We need to build ourselves something. I feel like, I guess this is supposed to be the like the water that we landed next to, our little pond. Maybe this is where we're sourcing all of our water. Um, mm -mm. I don't know if this to mine as well. How much resources do we have here? 100 food, got some wood, we got a lot of food. It's all kind of like strewn about though, nobody's collecting it. Four rations that nobody's eating. <sighs> I feel like I'm, I've played this so many times that a lot of times I will, like... Yeah, okay, they can do their... See, that's what I was talking about. You have to finish the campfire to get that um, announcement. But I, at least, hey, we're, we're walled in now in case we get attacked by a mob. We can all retreat back to the fort and then use their, their rifles they all are equipped with to shoot. Anyway, I want so badly to get past this beginning phase now when I start a new game that I forget to do some basic things. So let's do some basic upkeep and maintenance. Let's go in here and make sure that these guys are not eating raw meat. <laughs> let's not do that. Uh, let's make sure... I guess the rest of this is fine for now. But yeah, I just, I would rather they didn't because they'll get sick. And then once we have harvested our, um, not the dandelion spores, but the other thing, the uh, mushrooms, we're going to need to uncheck that box too because eating those raw have like a 25, maybe stronger percent chance of like food poisoning. Don't want that. So uh, once those are harvested, we'll uncheck that too. These, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, poisonous if consumed raw important to uncheck that box so we'll get we'll do that when we get there when we get to that stage uh, cure plant there we go let's go back to wherever Edmund was where did I walked away from it so quickly here's our cure plant so let's harvest those brilliant okay so those are in our queue now for harvesting and I guess we could try, like, putting down some of our own, but also construction. Like, there's so many things you can do. It's all about, like, prioritizing and, like, resource management, all of it. It's, it's the full picture, you know? That's what makes this game so fun, is really having to balance all the different, like, avenues and aspects and all the purview, like, 360 purview of everything that's happening all the time. Um, uh... Christoph's, or Christopher, Christoph. <laughs> Christopher says, I'm actually big into resource building games. Ever play Satisfactory? I have not, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, it's also in my Steam uh, wish list. I just haven't committed to buying it because my free time is so limited and I'm still currently spending all of it on this. Like I was just saying earlier how underutilized all my game systems are and so it's kind of like hard for me to justify purchasing new games of course and then I, I say that but then I just bought um Power World that happened it's really fun too um so <laughs> I did some Power World shorts and like three of them and then posted those up to my channel right before I went on my hiatus and um I didn't feel like doing a full edit 
for that, but I just picked a few clips that I thought were funny and I post and I put those up. So if you want to see some really short um, select moments that I find amusing, I suggest you check those out. They're on my channel. They're on my front page on like the short shelf and then they're obviously on my shorts tab. Uh, if you like Power World too, it's fun. Um, uh, yeah, you said feel that. <laughs> yeah, it's like adulting. That's the problem. It's like you get, you become an adult and nobody can tell you what kind of, kind of nobody can tell you what to do anymore. So you're like, all right, I'm going to, you know, invest in the things I like and I'm going to buy the games that I like and I want. But then you do that and you have no time to play them. Timing is so limited. The most finite resource we have seems to be time. <laughs> Um, so they're gonna do a campfire sitting now, and since I haven't really given a campfire setting its due in a while, we're gonna come over here and just allow it. So he's talked to Simon about their uncertain future, Simon's researching, Xander's gathering for the celebration. What's this guy doing? Stop. Stop it. <laughs> I want you to undraft. So you can also do this. Okay, he's gonna go to the bathroom. I want him to get the buff is why I'm undrafting him. I want him to get this little, there we go, campfire sitting celebration, because he gets like a, they get buffs for participating in these things. Oh, goodness. All right. And now they're sweating. They might be too hot. It's 90 degrees outside, and then over here by the fire, it's even hotter. What did he eat that he's throwing up? Oh no, did they do it? I think he did. I think he ate the poisonous food. All right, this is what we're talking about. This is why we do this. It's all the little details that matter. We're gonna paste these in. Okay, that should take care of that for now. So finally, we should be solid there. Is Edmund still doing his campfire sitting? Okay, yeah, they are. All right. Let's, let's do something fun. I think that they're fine. We don't need to start our farm yet or whatever. We don't get to do all that boring stuff because we already have seen and done that. We need to start building um, our new, more permanent resident. I'm gonna put it right over here by this purple lake because it's cute. And start using more of these like gorgeous new uh, things that we've you know procured through mods. And not everything is an asset. Like, not every mod is gonna manifest itself in like a physical uh, chair or light or painting or sculpture or whatever, but many of them do. So let's go ahead and get those out and check them out. Let's start with, gosh, I don't know. stone. We have a lot of stone. Let's start with a stone foundation. Um, I'm not even trying to build anything too big because I'm mostly just trying to give us an opportunity to look at our mods. So this really isn't about getting a big build. This is about creating space for us to check out what's new. Our mods. Um, we've got ourselves, we'll just do this, a nice stone foundation, a nice sort of log cabin style, I don't know, building. I want to see, honestly, I want to, I saw that there was, where's our leisure items? Here we go. This big beautiful list of leisure items. Oh my gosh, can we build the pool already? We can! <gasps> We can totally already build our pool. Oh my gosh. Yes. I love this for us. We're gonna put it right here. We're getting a pool, you guys. You could swim in this this little like purple lake right here, or you can swim in our nice clean pool that we're gonna pour chlorine in and hope it kills all the the germs and stuff. <laughs> I am about it. This is great. I am excited for this pool. I'm gonna mark those for harvesting, but then we're gonna build this. This is gonna be amazing. In fact, Jack, I don't know what you're constructing. I want it to be... <gasps> no, we don't have the materials for the pool yet. Okay, well, let's look at some other options. 
I get tables and chairs uh, as it's a good buff. Oh, right, the buff for them to not eat standing up, to eat sitting down. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Let's do that. So table, let's um, stick to basics for a second just to get that buff. And then when we move inside, we'll get just a little bit fancier. Um, but right now, let's um, make that happen. We're gonna have a pull, you guys. It's gonna be freaking amazing. Let's look, look at what else we can get here. Um, statues, yes. There's a fountain statue. That's what I'm talking about. This is gonna be so freaking cool. Uh, yeah, we're sticking this here. <laughs> I wanna see it. This is gonna be great. Uh, I guess we can mark that for scavenge too. And all of this for harvest. It's probably all gonna go bad because I'm just harvesting thoughtlessly and not thinking too hard about, um, first of all, let's do that for research. Why not? Um, none of that's ready for harvesting. That's fine. That's fine. I was getting distracted. That's not the point. This is not the point. We've discovered skin bark. Beautiful. Lovely. Thank you. Whoever did that. Uh, we can mark those for harvest. But back to back to what really matters. This pool. <laughs> and let's look at our other luxury items. What else can we build? <gasps> There's an outdoor patio set? What? Yo. We're gonna have little cabanas around our pool. <gasps> yes! Holy crap, I am for this. I love it so much. I need to redo, not like rebuild, but redecorate the luxury resort for sure. And then do the video tour of that because there's so many, there's gonna be a pool, there's gonna be cabanas, there's gonna be gorgeous statues and paintings, art on the wall. We'd even talked about that during that run through. Um, th during that stream series, we talked about if only there was paint, or not paint, if only there was paintings, art, we could stick on the walls. Um, but now we can. Uh, <laughs> oh, right, let's look at these floors, because we have new flooring options. A lot of new flooring options, so... Look at these col floor collections, holy crap, there's so much. Whoa! You guys see this? got ourselves okay let's see what we got here we've got some marble floors and the like the menus just keep going this is wild to me that's so cool okay let's build ourselves like a little yeah like just a little like kitchen floor here okay I want to try out like multiple floors. Let's check out some other floors. Okay. We've got sci-fi flooring, miscellaneous, what is miscellaneous? Grass and garden walkway. <gasps> garden walkway, what? Start by dragging from replacement, cancel dragging, shift from replacement to tiles. Okay, but I can't put it outside. Okay, that's fine. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Um, Flooring, stop it, stop it, stop it. Click on the flooring. Click on the wood floors. Marbled, wooden, plushed, concrete, stone, ceramic, sci-fi flooring. You guys, do you see these? Your hotel looks like a farm barn compared to all the new stuff you can add. I know, I know, I definitely, I, it's like, I almost want to just leave this and go back there and like start swapping stuff out. Um, I'm trying to stay the course, I'm trying to stay the course. Like, what even? Like, seriously. This is so cool. I want to say this in daylight. We need light here. Why is Jack... Oh, right. Jack's the one that's got, like, the... Part of his character build is that he has some kind of, like, brain issue, right? Oh my gosh. I am so excited to upgrade the hotel. I'm not even kidding. Like, the luxury resort is getting an overhaul. And then we're gonna put on a new video for it. It's gonna be so freaking cool. <gasps> mm, but it is also time to have everybody retreat. We're going to uh, draft. I don't know. We'll put you here. Uh, draft. We'll put you 
there. Craft you. I don't know where these guys are coming from, so I'm just sticking somebody on each side. Okay. That's that's just my plan. I I'm being super lazy about this right now, but I'm sure we can handle it. They're all coming from this direction. So maybe what I'll do. Who do I have going here? Well, he's not going here anymore. He's going here. Xander's going here. Edmund is going here. Oh, wait, where's... He went in the center. Okay. It's really the only person I gotta move is this guy. And that should be fine. They're all facing... There we go. They all turned around. So these are our guys. That's the beauty of picking random characters in Insane Moon. You don't get a weapon from, like, dropship, but because they were randomized, they all got them. And they are just going to tear these guys up. So this should be a non-issue for them. Of course, it is also in Zane Moon, so there's 41 of them, at least at the start of this uh, campaign, or this, this hunt. I think we're going to have to divert them, because they're not shooting through. Maybe we do this. Oh no, 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 they got in, they got in, they got in! Time to huddle, time to huddle. Who is not huddling? Xander's out here by himself and that's dangerous. I want him in here. Xander needs to move inside. Move inside here. So you guys can do like a kill circle. We're going the crude's direction here. We're doing our kill circle. That is the plan. Crude style kill circle. Because these guys tore through our fence. Um, but they'll be fine. They'll be fine. So let's undraft our guys. Everybody's injured, so now, <laughs> now we gotta look at who has the ability to heal. He's got a two and okay, so we have a healer who's on it. This should be fine. I think they're gonna take care of what's needs to. I think. <sighs> You're okay, yeah. So I'm gonna let them just autopilot. I'm trusting them to autopilot. We're coming back to look at these mods. We're gonna come back and look at these floorings. So where were we? We were here. Sci-fi flooring, marble floor, there's brick flooring, but we haven't built any bricks. Area rugs? Oh, but we don't have any. Okay, but there are rugs. I just can't use it yet because we haven't unlocked any, we haven't harvested any cloth blossom. Um, grass is a floor type. I love that black rubber. Also, we have we have different types of marble, which I really liked the most, I think. And we have like something that looks like this. And uh, let's go back. Wait, our wooden floors. I hadn't clicked on this. Look at the variety here. Look at how many different wood floors we get. This is insane. There's cherry wood, wood deck flooring, uh, just, oh, I love this. The variation color in the plank wood. Chevron. I love chevron. Okay. Rustic pear. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So much is going on here. Uh, I think that that one was a little bit... The, the green was a little too much. Let's try... Let's go back. Wood floor. Let's try the chevrons. Yes. Oh, I love that. I'm loving the chevron. I'm digging the chevron. I think... What are we gonna do here with this? Rotate it. I'm gonna stay outside because I think it's a, like an outdoor thing. These floors are freaking, we're gonna need daylight to really appreciate this. These floors are so fun. It's so different from like base game floors. There's a lot more options here than even just the floor that I stuck inside. Let's look at our windows. Did our windows change? We should also have sliding glass doors now. Mm, let's look at doors. So where do I find 
my because I want to know where do I find it the sliding glass door is it so this is highlighted it does not seem to be this though okay let's let's look again let's find our sliding glass door I'm not seeing it like I'm just genuine I don't know where to look I don't know where to look to find this sliding glass door So we have metal fixed. This window can't open or close, but it is possible to place lockers, shelves, and workbenches along the window. So that's an update. Because normally when you put in um, your windows, and these ones you can also, but like these other ones, you just, you can't stick the first two, the original windows. You couldn't like put a dresser next to it or anything in front of the window. Um, you couldn't do any work in front of the window. It was all like blocked in so I would be able to like put that window there now and then come in here to leisure grab our plants and then stick a potted tree right in front of this like right in front of that window if I wanted to uh, maybe a smaller one <laughs> in front of the window let's see let's do oh what's this alien tree <gasps> The thing's huge! Holy moly, this thing's massive! What even <laughs> is this? I mean, I don't hate it. I'm very curious. Let's stick it here. Let's see what we get. Let's, what is this gonna do for me? Also, I kinda wanna move this. Yeah, we're moving this here. Cause that'll uncover, that like, covers all of this. This plant is so weird. Okay, I want to see that built for sure. Um, so we've got our, yeah, those things are naturally updating, but let's also look back. I still really wanted to stick in here like a nice, cute little potted plant in front of the window, and we can. It lets us do that now. Also, our refrigerators, oh, I think I have to, I think we have to do the research before we can stick a refrigerator out here. Mmm, man. Let's see. What am I looking for? I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for this. Look at this. This is new. Weapons rack, basic sanitation. Those are new. Uh, bench press. Yeah, there's so much here. I think what we need to do, because I don't want to have to do all the research to be able to figure this out. What we're going to do, we're going to save this gameplay, okay? Bear with me. <laughs> Bear with me. We are going to save this. I'm not going to just totally, just like, um, new save. We're going to call this mod maxing. Okay, so this is our mod maxing game. I want to see if the mods will apply. So if we leave this game and we load, we load our, yeah, if we load the resort, will I be able to use the mods? Boring stuff, but you, but do you need bandages for the next fight? The answer to that question is yes. Yes, we do. Um, but we'll come back to that. I actually, because all the research is kind of like done here. I mean, not all of it. This new stuff could definitely, <laughs> we could definitely cue this new stuff up. Oh, let's add treadmills. That's new. Sliding doors. Okay. That's, Rich, what are you doing? All right, this is the answer right here. And the teleportation, yeah, whoa, I forgot about that. Let's also, teleportation, cue that up. Sliding doors, teleportation, uh, whatever this is. We are going to, I'm gonna do the teleportation first. Sliding door, treadmill. Oh uh, gosh. Yeah, and then this, screw this carbon armor. <laughs> we don't want that right now. What we want is the new stuff. We're gonna queue up the research for all of this new stuff. And then we are going to start replacing some of the things here. Yeah, you remember how you were saying like, oh, it just looks like Farmville comparatively? 
kind of does. Although I didn't show you at night, we're gonna have to do this hiking trail because it's so cool at night. Um, by the way, if you're new to this, this is our luxury resort playthrough save. And there's like this beautiful hiking trail and when it's all lit up, you follow the torches and it goes all the way up here, up the mountain. And when you get to the very top, there is a little campsite uh, and then a latrine up here and all of that. But let's head back down the mountain. We have, also just gonna go over this briefly, we have our BattleBots arena over here that's still being built. We have our power grid station over here, um, our graveyard, because we've, we've lost quite a few animals, but it happens. <laughs> um, we have the resort. Uh, we have our balloon rides. We have our shooting range out here. So there's, you can kind of see it, the shooting range, just looking over the cliff. This beautiful view of the water. Uh, I was in the process of converting all of this. What I would like to do is restructure, because remember these windows, if we restructure these now, we can do, put stuff in front of them. Carbon window. We'll just do this. Restructure, tall fix window, and we'll do the same for these. It's happening. We are going to convert this hotel with all of this, like, and then of course the top floor, the suite had the best uh, view, the most windows, the most space. We're gonna address all of these and make them, uh, we're gonna update these windows for the window benefits that come with them. All right, clearly the brick conversion is still in progress. Uh, these should be, yeah, queued for replacement, that's fine. Um, we did come in here and we I moved this for a reason that I forget. Why is this here? I don't know why this is here. We don't need to move this. This is fine. Oh, I know why. I was moving it so that we could access this wall and replace this. Okay, yeah. We'll move it. Um, so that we can get in here and finish converting these walls. But let's let's look at some of the things that we can be upgrading. We first of all, I'm looking right in the window here at the gym. We have new gym equipment. So let's take a look at our gym space here and see where we could be adding new gym equipment that we're researching. Actually, I gotta wait a second. Sliding glass doors last so it can get days to research that? Goodness. Well, it is a pretty large, uh, what do you call it, advancement, so we'll, we'll allow it. I'm seeing these are highlighted, so now we've got like the water trowel for our animals. Gosh, I am all over the place. We're gonna back up to our beautiful farm. By the way, this is our beautiful farm at our luxury resort. It's also a petting zoo over here, but we've got these troughs here for our animals. Um, and I think what we could be doing is putting a water trowel over here. So let's do that. Yeah, perfect. And then here we have okay, dog food okay, for these guys. So our we have our, and we named them after places like this is like Myrtle Beach, Beijing, Tokyo, um, Petting Zoo slash Manure Factory. Over here we have New York, our dog, and uh, looks like a lot needs to get done. There's a lot that needs to happen out here, but we're not going to focus on that right now. We are going to put this in three speed. There's no reason not to. Um, what I want to focus on is upgrading the space. So here we have like the arcade in the main room, or in the, the main entry, come in, kind of like some movie theaters, the arcade is first, right? So we've got the arcade. I actually don't want to give you guys a full tour because it's not what this is about. This is about our mods. So let's just focus on those and where we can swap them in. Uh, Neil says boring stuff, but you, do you need, oh, I already read that. And yes, the answer is yes, but uh, that's a problem for another seed. 
and we'll come back to that problem. I'm wondering if our refrigerators... So here's our freezer. Oh, okay, I don't, I don't really care about the shooting star. I'm gonna move this for a second. Rotate, rotate. I just want to move this to see if the smaller fridges and freezers will work now. Mod related problem detected in game logic. Try disabling the mods. In okay. We're gonna we're gonna just keep going until it like totally just tells me no. Okay, so that's gone. Let's take a look at our storages, our fridges. So we have little fridge and a little freezer. Let's see how that works out for me. If we stick a little freezer there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go in here for a little fridge. Will it fit also? Not side by side with that, but we could extend this further. Not that I think we would need to. We have this fridge here. We're gonna do a little freezer. Deconstruct. This device should just mark for repair. Okay, so we need to not mark for repair and then mark the deconstruct and then build this. Hopefully with the deconstructed parts. I want to see if the mini fridges and the... I say mini, but they're not really mini. They're just smaller. They're just not these massive, like, wall-to-wall -wall freezer boxes. Hopefully it will allow us to... I don't know. construct this yet. I think deconstructing this should help with constructing that, but we'll see. Um, that, while well, that's underway, we'll allow that to run its course. Let's see what else we could be adding here, because we've got our bench presses. We already have that. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, statues. What statues are new? Not these. We need to go here to these leisure. Wall decor! Okay! This is cool. Okay. How big is the wall TV? I don't know. Like, okay, so I can't put it over the fireplace. That's unfortunate. But I can put it like here, I think. So you can stick that there. Um, and then we have other art. I'm like trying to find it. I'm trying to find it online. Uh, furniture art. Let's go back to art. Large painting. There's so many! This is so cool! Oh my gosh! Yes, I love it! Okay, I want to put this on the wall behind where I put that, like, where I put the freezer. We'll come back to this. You can stick them in here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, we're gonna look at our, our dining room. Okay. Go back to leisure. Go back to... <laughs> Uh, wall decor, because I feel like there was like a really big one. Like a, no, this is even smaller than what I was just looking at. Okay. Okay. I do really like this. Maybe we'll stick that there and then we can do one next to it. Let's see. Like maybe one of the small paintings. Like a vertical one. Yeah, like that, maybe? We'll see how that looks. We've got ourselves some art. We've got ourselves... Let's look at our furniture situation here. Because we should have a lot more chair options, too. Pebble, stone... stone bench next to the like balloon rides like this could be the queue people could be waiting here try the new stone seating I don't know I <laughs> just feel like there's so much I have to explore in here because I don't honestly know how much of anything we have we never set up a wedding arch by the way 
on this uh, resort at all, and that feels like a huge miss. Because I feel like that would be, as a destination wedding, you know, this would be like the place. I kind of wish I could stick it on top of these, like, I don't know, where we would put this. Like, where would be ideal? Maybe we'll put a wedding arch out here so you get like this beautiful nature kind of backdrop for now. Just a place to drop it for now. Oh, but those benches will be so pretty for like, <gasps> yeah, wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 I had a thought. <laughs> let's do this, let's make it happen. Let's go into our furniture. Let's go into our collectibles, our, whoa, armchairs. That's not what I was looking for, but that's pretty cool. We'll come back to it, we'll come back to it. Uh, chair chairs, okay. Our pebble benches, or we could do these rustic, like, wooden, there's like an extreme heat wave happening now. But I feel like, yeah, it needs to be like, you know, like, you have these wedding chairs here. But usually there's like an aisle. We need to cancel this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we're gonna do this again, but we're gonna do it better. We're gonna leave an aisle in the middle. Okay. Uh, does that make sense? Like, are we... Oh no! Three speed obviously is not working for these guys either. Unfortunately. Bring food, please. Farming animal bad. <laughs> this is not quite as effective as I hoped it would be. I think we're gonna mark some of these for harvest just to be on the safe side. We need to also get people out here planting again, which I thought they would automatically do, but they're not apparently doing that automatically. All right, but let's stay focused, okay? We have plants now that we could be decorating this beautiful wedding scenario with. We also have a treadmill now. Stay focused, we'll come back to that. Leisure plants um gosh this is cool <gasps> wait and we also have the fountain wait what wait what do i do which one do i do what do, what do i do this is really pretty i feel like we could do like this on both sides of that but then we need to have leisure water right statues fountains Fountains? There's so many more fountains on this one because we have the research unlocked compared to the other one. Would it be wrong to put the wedding arch in the center of the battle bot arena? <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like it could be moved there for people who have eccentric taste or who just like really want a more, I don't know, action oriented wedding, I guess. We'll stick this back here. Oh man, I really want like... So let's go to housing, flooring, soil. I'm just gonna like do this just to do it. And have like an aisle and then maybe I can use that new flooring. Actually, I should be able to lay it now. Oops, flooring, okay. Go to miscellaneous, and we've got this garden walkway flooring. So, maybe, just maybe, that'll look really pretty. Leisure, let's go back to our decor, our plants. I feel like we could do more. We could do more with this. It doesn't gotta stop here. Let's do that. I'm really excited for this, actually. Destination wedding, let's do it! This is gonna be so nice. Might need a little bit more foliage here to sort of like maybe some like bushes or something to block out this wooden fence back here to this more utilitarian side of the resort. But this is really pretty. I like this a lot. I like this idea. I'm kind of glad I waited to do the wedding arch to be honest because before it was just the arch. There wouldn't have been all this other stuff to add to it. And now it can be like its own setup. It's gonna, it's like a whole thing. It's not just like a prop that was like tossed in a corner somewhere. 
The BattleBot Arena would look super cool with sci-fi flooring options. That's right, we do have sci-fi flooring options. Okay, hang on. Because you make a very valid point. Um, I need to... What is this guy? He's a defense bot? Okay, we'll put our defense bots back after we get our flooring down. So let's do... You can't do flooring without first a foundation, so let's do a foundation. What do we have a lot of, or at least plenty of? We have concrete. Let's try that. We'll put a concrete floor down, and then on top of it, let's, let's, actually this is really exciting, let's try this. Let's go, not leisure. Yo, there's a pool table? <laughs> yes! Okay, um, focus, 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 focus. Focus, okay. Uh, what was I looking for? Flooring. Housing, flooring, um, sci-fi flooring, okay. So we have a couple of options here. Uh, we have the, um, I like this if I was able to like make it go like all the way around the edges with the yellow tape but I don't think I can turn it or wait I can turn it <gasps> wait I can turn it though yes okay hold on rotate it okay ooh, ooh, ooh. hang on I think I have it I think I have it flooring stop it here we go sci-fi flooring this one oh but then it still doesn't connect crap because the corners don't meet. Is there a corner piece that I could use? Let's see. I don't really have a corner piece to connect them. What I do have is that. That might be cool for like the whole thing. Hmm. Mm -mm. Getting these off of here is going to be a little bit of a pain, though. The ones I don't want. Concrete floor, the panel, okay. Right? Okay. No. So I'm just removing these, uh, specifically the panels that I don't want to use because I don't have a corner piece to make it really, like, go all the way around the way I wanted it to. And then we will fill in this space um, with a different flooring. So let's go back to our housing, our flooring options, and then our sci-fi flooring. And now to go around the edges, we could do... There's a cyberpunk floor. There's also this, which I think could be kind of cool. Because it kind of looks like there's like a... Like little glow-in-the-dark kind of things, you know? Like these little panels. And then on top of these, we gotta bring back, let's not forget, we need to bring back our our defense bots. There we go. Battle bot. Thank you. We need this guy. And then this one. He needs to rotate. Okay. So there are battle bots. We've got ourselves the fancy <laughs> sci-fi flooring. That's gonna be fun. Um and then also I kept seeing the where is it? The wall is highlighting. Is something different here? No. I think it just, when they're highlighted like that, I think the mod that it's notifying me of is changing the, the amount of material required for those things. That's what I think that means. This is going to be really interesting to see when we have ourselves this fully constructed BattleBot arena with sci-fi flooring and everything. 
We could even maybe do sci-fi flooring inside the resort right here for our... For our, um, you know, this thing. The arcade area. I think we could change the flooring here. Let me see if I can grab just this and then go to soft carpet and reconstruct soft carpet into... Wow! We have a lot of carpet options too. Black and white tile, chevron flooring, hexagon paving. That's cool. Let's try this Ava Geometric Rug. And we'll do that here for this one too, and then this one. Cause... There we go. Ooh, not what I meant to click on. Almost, almost, almost. Just one last square to select and we'll be good on these. Soft carpet reconstruct paper rug. Okay. So we're gonna let that happen. These are all gonna like we're gonna get like our game area here with our video games and our VR and our dart boards and anything else. This is gonna have like a totally different floor style that makes it look a little bit more I don't know, fun for a game area for a little arcade area. This should still be getting deconstructed. Um, I don't know if it's taking them so long, probably with the fact that they're tired and sleeping. Let's see if I can get him to do that, because if I can get him to do that, maybe those materials can go into building this one. But like, the real question is... When is all of this going to get built? Also, what else do we have available to us? Because I feel like... Okay, this water pump needs to happen in here somewhere. This needs to be a part of our, you know, like our part of our, um, we'll put it there. No, we won't, because that's like literally inside the fence. We're going to copy that, put it somewhere else. Like literally anywhere else is fine, it's just not here. It's fine, I guess, but it can't be in the fence. It just can't. That doesn't make any sense. There we go. All right, but oh, gosh, okay. <laughs> what else is new that we can use? Um, we have new storages. That's right. We have wall shelves. We have new wardrobes, but they're not going to show up here. They're going to show up in leisure under here. Oh, statues. What statues do we have? A fountain statue? Not a statue of a fountain. Or the actual fountain. Egyptian statue, that's interesting. Um, I think that's what happened. These things got filled up with that. Uh, but my thing I keep trying to say, and I'm failing to say, and here are our showers, we'll have to add those, is I would really like come in here with these beautiful like not these the um you know the nightstand ones let's go to furniture collections end tables this i would like to be able to put these in here i would love for this to be in this room in that spot instead of those you know that would be nice to replace these with some proper end tables that would be really cool um, I don't know how we're going to fit showers in these skinny little bathrooms because there just really isn't room. There was barely room to give them the privacy of a toilet, like their toilet's privacy. This one still doesn't even have a wall built here. That's like a work in progress for some reason. Hasn't happened yet. I would love it if we could just make that happen. <laughs> yeah, this needs repaired. I don't know where she went to the bathroom, but we're going to need her to... Well, I don't know. It is what it is at this point. I wonder... Hmm. Let's go up to the suite. Why don't we do that? All of these lamps are like blowing out. Why? Why is that happening? 
We could be putting in some nice dressers here. These, like, yeah, this is rubbish. We could change this wardrobe. Let's reconstruct it. What are our options? Yeah, look at these options. We could be making this such a nice... I'm really trying to get a good shot. I'm sorry about zooming around everywhere like this, but we could be making this so much nicer. Like, look at this. Retro wardrobes, uh, modern, rustic, medieval, vintage. I think this vintage one looks really cool. I want to see it, so I'm going to ask her to come upstairs and do that for us. Oh, if she would just stop running everywhere. Yeah, let's make that happen. Let's see what this looks like after we reconstruct it. There is just too much to choose. Could be at this for many, many days. I know, I know, it's so true. And it's like, I'm trying to sh like maximize what I can show you because I downloaded, I think it was like 32 total mods. 32, there's so much content for this game in the mod, the modders are just crushing it. And I'm like, try it's hard to show you it all in gameplay, like, live because I can't cut to the next part and cut to the next part and like jump ahead and jump ahead. I'm like trying to get to it as it's occurring to me as we're going through and that's why I'm like adding to the gym and then building the wedding, the destination wedding spot and like I loved the suggestion to use the sci-fi flooring, the new sci-fi flooring for the battle bots arena and I think this is gonna look amazing. And yeah, I want to and I'm probably gonna have to finish this all offline, like finish maximizing the mod content in this resort and then do a proper tour video like not any of the building just the the revealing the reveal video of what it all looks like once it's done um because right now and i don't know why i thought i asked her to come up here and do this and then she just didn't maybe he'll do it maybe i can get him to actually come up here and do it um it's a lot. <laughs> it's so much. It's it's 32 mods, so it's a lot to try and show all of it in like a live play. Um, in fact, I'm like almost to my two hour mark, and uh, there. Look at that. I mean, really though, look at that. That is beautiful. And is that a mirror? I feel like they put a mirror on the center panel. That's one way to get a mirror in this game. Um, yeah, I think that's really cool. I wonder too, like, there's no reconstructing option for that. We have lots of options for the table. Oh, not here though. So that's being held somewhere else, I think. But yeah, we could be doing, I feel like we don't need this in here. Let's get rid of that. There's a gym for that. We can put like proper sofas in here now because we have proper sofas now. Go to collectibles, go to armchairs, look at this. I mean, look at these gorgeous things that we could be dropping in here and we could go like super bright and vibrant. I think because this carpet is this color, we could do like a really cool, um, man. I gotta replace the windows first so that I can stick furniture in front of them. It's not even letting me do that yet. So that's a thing that's gonna have to happen. We've got the plants that we could be using to make this upstairs. Whoa, new instrument, hello. We're adding this to our deck for our little band here. So that's gotta happen. We're gonna put that there. Okay, sorry, I got diverted for a second. Um, come back to leisure, let's go back to plants. Let's start adding some really cool plants in here. We've got this like dope sci-fi plant that we could be keeping in this room somewhere, like there, would be nice. You know, like we've got, I'm gonna have to do all of it. I'm gonna do all of it. Like we spend hours, maybe days, reworking this whole resort and then come back and give you guys a tour at, once it's all set in stone, so to speak. Um, but yeah, I think that's the plan um, right now. I think that's like the best I can do. Um, because going through this item by item and showing you guys and then having them build that item and like then moving on to the next item. I mean, like, yeah, has anybody even built the treadmills in the gym yet? No. The gym treadmills haven't been touched, but they're there. So we're going to have a really sp like spoofy gym. I do love these for lockers in the locker room. I think these look really good. Um, 
But yeah, here's our spoofy gem. We've got ourselves our masseuse spa thing. These lights all need repaired. Um, we're gonna have a new instrument out here for our welcoming band. That's really cool. We got a mandolin that's joining like the club. Uh, we're gonna have all of this. The pool, wait, before we go, we gotta add the pool. So we've got this beautiful wedding area. That's nice, but what we really need is a pool. So let's do that. And this is like the perfect spot for it. So we've got our outdoor dining, let's add our pool. Leisure pool. There it is. Let's rotate the sucker around. And I think that's pretty even from side to side. One, two, one, two. Yeah. So now we're gonna have this beautiful pool here. Because that needed to happen. Oh, the cabanas. We gotta add the cabanas. Where did I find those? And we have a pool table. Yo, this needs to go. Sorry, I'll come back for the cabanas in a second. This needs to happen. This needs to be here. You know, like it's, it just does. It just, this is the kind of thing you gotta have. Okay, I'm gonna move this first, apparently. I'm gonna have her do it. Why? Because I can grab her. She's right here. And then we're gonna add it. So let's go back to leisure for a second. <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. I promise you, we're getting there. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Seriously? Okay, there we go. So our pool table is here. It's way too close to the wall. There's gotta be something I can do about that. I know what I can do about that. We're gonna move this one more time. We're gonna move it here. And I'm gonna have her do it. So that I can cancel this and we're gonna put it in the center of the room so you can go all the way around it to play and not have like any weird elbow situations going on. Um, right, where is it? It's in leisure. One more time. Let's do this one more time. As soon as why did she not do what I asked her to do? Set move the dartboard. There we go. Alright, uh, leisure? Leisure. Pool table. Now we're good. Okay, so we have our pool table. We're gonna replace all of this flooring with the new geometric flooring. It's gonna have the arcade, the pool table, the dartboard. It's gonna be phenomenal. This is gonna be a great game room. And now back outside, we're gonna look at this pool area and we need to add some tables, some chairs. Where did I see that before? I saw it here, right? Tables maybe? Collections. Yeah, outdoor collections. <gasps> what is this? What? Are we serious right now? There's just, they're just gonna add, the, I didn't even see that last time. Did you guys see that? Okay, hang on. What? Collections. Yeah, I went to collections outdoor. Patio grill. There's a patio grill and it looks so good. Okay. This is just, this is so good. We're gonna stick these out here. Okay. Like that. And then we're gonna put... Do we have any long ones, I wonder? What kind of tears do we have? No. Go back to collections. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like there should be one. I don't know. Maybe I'm asking for too much if I think that there's going to be a chase. Like a chase chair. But we can still go back to collections, outdoors, patio. Add another one of these. And then back up. And like another one here. This is gonna look so good. Yes, this is wild. Like, look at this gorgeous pool area. Was this pack not made for a resort or what? That is, it is so perfect. Like, it's so perfect. Master Chef says hello, everyone. Neil says, looking forward to the grand opening. I know, right? I was so excited. We thought we did the grand opening in that 
previous stream, we were not even close. We are getting... It's gonna be so amazing, like, when I drop the actual opening video. It's gonna be an edited video, it's not gonna be a stream. We're gonna do this properly. It's gonna look so good. <laughs> Master Shava says, I'm the one who made the how-to mod this game using the mod editor. I figured I'd swing by to say hello and see how everyone is doing. Hello, and thank you for swinging by. We are trying out, we added 32 mods. 32 total mods to this game for today's uh, run through. And we are just discovering so much content. It is so amazing and I'm having so much fun. Like, I gotta show you some things. And pronounced like Halo. Uh, how to mod video you're referring to is pronounced like Halo. Okay, okay. Like, this is gonna be lovely. So we're gonna let that happen. This over here, we added a pool table to our game room. We're getting all new flooring that looks super stellar. Over here, we have, and all of this has yet to be built. <gasps> no, I put them too close to the trees. They cleared out all my beautiful trees. No, that was a mistake. All right, I'll fix this later. We'll fix the, this backdrop situation problem later. We'll fix that. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be a beautiful wedding. It's got this garden path walkway going on here. We've got our battle bot station here. Um, I do want to copy this and make one over here that says destination wedding. Yeah, and then we're gonna change the text. I don't know, let's grab this guy and have him build it so I can construct it and then write destination wedding. We're gonna have to fix this situation, like we need these trees back stat i don't even know what to do right now like do we just want to put like a we'll just put one big one here and then we'll do oh my gosh i can't believe i chopped down my trees and didn't even catch on to the fact that that was happening let's see let's try that again tree like a little one yeah. No, 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 it didn't stick. It didn't stick. One more time. Third time's a charm. Okay. There we go. So we'll put those two trees there and hopefully that will fill in this disaster that I just revealed. It's so unfortunate. Um, if not, we might end up moving all of this somewhere more aesthetic. But yeah, we're getting our BattleBot Arena over here. We're going to get our destination wedding here. We're going to label this sign. I love these labels. These like little signs are amazing. Destination, wedding, confirm. And then over here, we're getting some cute new seating for our balloon rides. We haven't really done anything for shooting range. We're gonna have this beautiful poolside situation going on here, which I am so excited for. Uh, we have our landing pad. I don't think we changed anything out here other than we're adding this water trough which is pretty important because, um, you know, food and water. Water is pretty necessary for life in general. Oh, showers. We have a shower mod. I have not added or built any showers yet. We will. We're going to make sure that they have all the necessary uh, means for perfect hygiene, including... She's going to haul this because I'm really tired of these guys just leaving food out here. He's going to haul that too including showers so we've got sinks now we have toiletry now we need showers but overall i mean look at this flooring all of this amazing overall i'm very excited for these mods uh i can't show you them all in one sitting but what i can do is put in the work i'm gonna do the hours of work i'm gonna put it in i'm gonna get this thing totally like spruced up and then i'm gonna drop a video for you guys showing just how all of it turns out and then um yeah that's gonna be my next step so uh thank you for visiting master chef thank you for visiting um neil fletcher and nick and nancy uh attune divination uh christopher i i don't know if i got everybody but i thank you for being here all of this glowing purple stuff is really exciting we're gonna get back to it in the next video but for now i'm gonna sign off so this is it for me and i will see you guys next time okay thanks for visiting bye